strategist, Rod Rose. <laughs> so funny. What's uh, our life hack? We're just talking about, yeah, it's life hack time. We were just talking about. Uh, we're talking about Claire and her flag football. Apparently, uh, Stacy's daughter, the, the she, athlete. Well, yeah. she played soccer in she high did. school, so I mean, she played on the varsity, so yes. she was good. Now she's flag football over yeah, you. You gotta love intramural college sports, right? <laughs> I mean, and if you're competitive, it doesn't matter what it is. Like we you had, go all out. We had a really good flag football team, and I was there too. But we had the great quarterback. He was like six four, yeah. great quarterback, oh great arm. Yeah. I mean, having the best quarterback, it, well, it helps mean, out. Well, her team has the five two, <laughs> your ten pound quarterback. But she's got a great arm. She's got an arm. All right, today's life hack. Thirtieth uh, day of October. Cottage cheese and Ooh. sour cream. Are you not a fan of either I one? I don't like cottage cheese. I can do sour cream. Okay. It's going to last twice as long. You're not going to have to worry about this because you're not going to have it in your fridge. Mm -hmm. uh, but they last twice as long if you turn the container upside, upside down. down because of the like the water or You've whatever. You've heard about this, well, haven't you? I've... It forms a vacuum seal, prevents the bacteria from getting. Oh, in. the bacteria. Okay. Okay. But you knew that. Did I your thought, mom I thought there that? was something. No, I think I maybe have seen that before, too. But now, If the top's not on just right, it's going to leak out, though. That's right. I know. That's what I'm kind of thinking. <laughs> Make sure that and, it's And it does seal. always get kind of watery already. So you turn oh, it upside yeah. down. I don't know. I feel like this could be a disaster, too. I never was a fan of cottage cheese <laughs> until either. I started putting it on fresh tomatoes. I thought, oh, that's pretty that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, my mom used to do that. Yes. Hey, there's USI. Speaking of uh, USI, so of course, pretty. Claire's probably running around somewhere throwing dimes <laughs> throwing to some of her flag football teammates there on campus. We left to swing the camera around later, see if we can catch that game. Uh, anyway, that's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there at the library. I love the fall color out there, although it almost looks like it's fading a little bit out there. I hate to see that. Uh, maybe a lot of these leaves getting blown off the trees. We've got plenty of wind out there, that's for sure. Beautiful blue sky over Central City. Love that shot. And of course, with this low humidity, we get that throughout October. That's one of the cool things about October. It could be in the 60s, 70s, 80s for highs. It doesn't matter. The humidity is generally really low, so it's comfortable. If a little cooler, maybe a little warmer, but it's always comfortable. Anyway, there's downtown with the sunshine beaming on down. Right now, the temperature is 73, and the south wind kicking pretty good. Like yesterday, pretty much the same setup. We're going to see a little bit better dose of sunshine today, but still, we're going to see a high in the low 80s, and that wind is going to be 15 to 25, gusting at times up to 30 miles an hour, if not a little bit more than that. We had a peak wind gust yesterday of 36 miles an hour. 75 degrees in Princeton, 74 in Owensboro, 75 tell city. Most of us in the mid-70s, 78 reading in Morganfield, but they read a little bit warm there at that gauge. Uh, 75 degrees in Fairfield as well as Greenville down to the south. We are still shouting out cats. Why? Because we can't. Yesterday was National Cat Day. Love this picture here of this cat from our director, Brooklyn. Uh, the <laughs> There, there's Puss right there. No boots, but kicking back and relaxing. All you have to do is put a beer right there in that hand, and that dude is ready for the game, right? The dogs seem jealous. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that is a great shot right there. Brooklyn, thank you so much for sending that picture my way. I love it. I wish I could. I've got six cats. Not one of them sits like that. And I've got this big couch just waiting for it to happen so I can take a picture. Anyway, live radar's not showing anything. Nothing shaking anywhere close. Now, they're getting some big thunderstorms out in the Plain States. And from Kansas City down uh, to Wichita, it, it could be a really big, severe weather outbreak. They've got a 10% chance for a significant tornado there. This line of thunderstorms storms will be moving in our direction, but weakening as it does overnight and then moving in tomorrow morning. Looks like right, right around mid-morning for us here in Evansville. But nothing shaking this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. Got a few clouds kind of moving in. You'll see clouds thicken up a little bit. First thing tomorrow morning, a few showers out ahead of that line. Here comes the line pushing through. Looks like right around 9 o'clock in Evansville. And it's going to be along the leading edge of this line. Uh, if we see anything severe, we do have an isolated damaging wind thread uh, that is going to be out there for tomorrow. It would be along the leading edge. After that's over with, it's just going to be lingering rain. We are going to be seeing uh, this rain kind of sticking around into mid-afternoon. Latest run on our future tracker shows another line developing, uh, but breaking up. So I would think by 5 o'clock, uh, really, we're going to be seeing most of the rain gone. Maybe a couple of stray showers out there on the backside. Uh, but the best chance for rain is going to be from around 9 o'clock in the morning for most of us until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And again, an isolated damaging wind threat. But that's going to be mainly mid to late morning along the leading edge of that line as it moves in. You can see a few showers developing, though, in the evening, though, on the backside of that main batch of rain. So, yeah, we're not exactly going to be rain-free, but it's still going to be a pretty good... At least, for the most part, the heavy rains could be out of the picture. We clear up, and as far as rainfall goes, we are going to be noticing anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch, I think, for most of us. So it's going to be a pretty good dousing of rain out there, and it's going to be pretty windy out there as well tomorrow. But today, uh, we're going to be seeing no rain and a high of 83 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds, but a lot more sunshine than clouds out there, I'll tell you that. South wind, 15 to 25 gusts better than 30. On the three-degree guarantee, yesterday I called for a high of 83, and that would have tied a record. Got close, though. 81 works. Andrea Nix of Evansville. Congratulations, Andrea. Thank you.
You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station and pick it up. Over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be cooling off a little bit after today's warm 83. And yep. you see 75 tomorrow, the rain chance on Halloween. 65 and sunny on Friday, looking good. Mm -hmm. Warming back into the 70s over the weekend. We turn back our clocks over the weekend. I know, too. we get an extra hour of sleep. Yeah, and, it, and then it gets dark before five. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, that's easy to sleep oh my goodness. on this schedule, though. Gorgeous. Beautiful shot right there from Hugh Metz in Boonville. I uh, love that I shot love there. The, that shot. The uh, setting sun last night. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Hugh. We'll be right back. We've got more local lifestyles coming up.